There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. Absolutely. Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? Welcome to the last stream on the left. We're talking about Alien. Apparently, there's a new Alien porn out there that Marcus has been watching. And the question is this. <laughs> we have a couple of questions. We, there's a couple of questions here. We got uh, blood, right? We know that they're blood. Oh, can we're we... talking about, well, first of all, take it, let's take it all the way back. We're not talking about gender aliens. We're talking no. about capital A, Alien, Xenomorphs. Morning Weaver. Xenomorphs. Whatever. <laughs> Would their cum kill you the same way that their blood kills you? That's the question here, because Marcus is wondering if he could suck one of them off. Well, my question yes, specifically, can I suck it off? <laughs> can I what suck it What will happen off? to me if I suck it off? Yes, I don't know. specifically. But I also pose the question, do they have penises? And I do not think they do, because they do not reproduce like a mammalian does. I think that See, but I know they got eggs. I know they yeah. got eggs. They got How do the egg. eggs get fertilized? Because first of all, you got the face huggers. Lots, they have eggs, yep. but then the face yeah. huggers sometimes squirt babies. That's cum. What the face no, huggers the are face, doing. That's the, no, that's the eggs. Those are eggs, buddy. What? What? Um, we've never seen a male alien before in that entire series. In that whole movie, yeah. no. it's just the female alien. No, the female, the queen is the only female alien. All the rest of them are males. They're drones. Well, then why didn't one have sex with Sigourney Weaver? <laughs> That's the truth because she got impregnated. I'm trying to see what's yep. in the stream. Oh, they're all just model. Yeah, I know they're model after penises, DJ. We know that because, Actually, because my, fucking Giger was super. Whole, I mean, he was. The whole right. things are Bone penises. Saw the head is the penis. Certain, well, no, I don't know if the little bitey head is on the. Yeah, Bonesaw is saying they think that the little bitey head uh, inside the mouth is also on the penis. <laughs> All right. Well, I would love, I mean, whatever. Either way, this is, I don't even know why the two redheads are talking. I don't know why Henry and I are talking other than the fact that we don't stop talking. I, it's, it's Marcus's mandate. Yes, it is. It is my mandate today. We're going to have all sorts of fun. You guys ready to have fun? Yay. Let's just, kind of let's fun. put We're one down the pot. fun, Henry. Let's start having fun immediately. Immediately fun. It's girls night out. We'll twist and twerk till <laughs> Who do you think she's performing? Put your hands together, y'all. Um, a children's party? <laughs> I bet you she's, it's a funeral. <laughs> There's no Joe Exotic if this is a funeral. <laughs> oh, she's horny. Oh, horny and she's late. Horny and lazy. And then you are correct. It's a children's <laughs> party. <laughs> oh, I guess she didn't get the song cleared. That is oh, Valerie Sass. Oh, man. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I love this woman. That is a woman named Valerie Sassafras. Boy, she is a treasure. But the thing is, you're only it's only wrong when the parents have to explain the lyrics. It's the best thing to make a kid's song otherwise. Uh, it's, but it's showing the butthole. That's what That changes the context. I, it's kind yeah. of fun saying I'm horny and I'm lazy and then just, just doing a weird sort of old woman thing. I wonder if that is just her expression. Is she playing a character mm -hmm. of oh, herself? Sure. Well, do you uh, think that she does that at whatever Safeway she checks out groceries at? <laughs> <laughs> well, she was actually on America's Got Talent. Oh, but they – I hate when they do that. They were just trying to make fun of her, unlike us who are embracing her art. Yes, we are embracing her what art. What do you She's mean? How do you know? How do I know? I googled Valerie Sassafras. Let me look this up. No, well, I'm not. America's <laughs> Got Talent. How did she make it on there? I mean, she does Valerie have talent. Sassafras. Valerie Sassafras. Yeah, absolutely. There, that's the first thing that comes up. Valerie Sassafras. America's Got Talent. Oh, there she is. She's singing Girls Night Out for Judge Cuts. Yeah, she's got she an has, Illuminati. Like the only way I can describe it is she's wearing a sweater with a big open pyramid eye on it, like the fucking Illuminati. It's crying. Okay. The mm -hmm. eye is crying. I'm looking at it right now. This also reminds me of the song I was singing last week. I swallowed his kids. I swallowed his kids. I that means come. His kids. Now they're down in my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she sort of looks like Alan Cumming if Alan Cumming was the female gremlin. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm looking at this right now. She's wearing a, she's co covered, touching her breasts like uh, Jackie. She did very similar moves to Jackie. That's um, great. And this, is a, this, was a, uh, this was a ringer. 
Well, that's what I was saying. They, they put her in there for comic relief. But, you know, back in the day, the comedian used to be a respected uh, performer in the show. That's but right. they're just laughing at her. I don't think that's right. Well, she was trying to do a bit of a uh, she was trying to do a bit of a YouTube show called The Sass Cave. Um, <laughs> but oh I don't my. think she could figure out how it worked. No, no. That's just when you butt chug a bunch of Bacardi Limon and then have an orgy. <laughs> I love the Sass Cave. <laughs> well, this, this, this next butt. video, speaking of things that you love, this video is specifically for you. I chose this video for you. It's wow, my enormously not cute. July. <laughs> it's enormously cute, and it's got a chihuahua. All right, cool. Okay. The first I could find one. to put him down was right in the bed with Herman. Herman, oh, it's a pigeon. Oh my God, they're covered. They're covered in STDs. Get that fucking thing away from it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, this pigeon is. Just, it's gonna take a dump on the. <laughs> I was like, Wendy, Wendy like to crawl underneath. How can they look that natural? It's an unlikely yeah. animal friendship. They're oh, friends. my God. And Why is the pigeon in the, the house? Pigeon flies away. It's an animal yeah, sanctuary. Rescues animals with birth defects. Why do they have pigeons? Because the pigeons got to... You'll find out. To me about a month ago. Oh, Lundy. He was about four weeks old, and oh, he wasn't so using big. his back legs like he should. Oh, uh, no. What happened to his back legs? I've been doing it's a birth defect. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> what is this shit? Oh, doing fat therapy. She uses a paper towel. Oh, that's just... I need this, man. <laughs> I need what this just this? to get out of the tub. We have to things out at this point. Right, buddy? We've ruled out hydrocephalus. Okay. Oh, I think he's just lazy. He's got lazy <laughs> leg. <laughs> Chihuahuas are one of the least lazy animals around. That at this point, he's only one. Sell it to Wendy. He's in like a playpen, but it's kind of low to the ground. Okay. So that's how Herman came about. Oh this no, he's like pecking his fucking eyes out, man. <laughs> a year and a half ago, oh I received a phone call with somebody that had found a pigeon in a car dealership parking the lot. The most bored person in the world. <laughs> in the same spot for like three days. It's he just the yeah. Neurological issues. <laughs> oh, so he's he, he is a he's tired. Can't fly. Cute. <laughs> She's got a little place in the sunroom, and I bring him. You there have a special needs. <laughs> this it, that's is what legitimately like, just like, oh my. <laughs> oh, really? You're a different kind of bird. I've never today. seen a kind of bird like you before. It just can't fly. It's yeah. got a fully functioning now, pigeon brain. It's getting very puppy ish, where Herman's toes look really good to chew on. Sure. It's a pigeon that can't fly with a dog that can't walk. <laughs> that's just. I, but I. <laughs> They're not going anywhere. <laughs> no, they're, they're, that's why they're friends. Do you have any idea how many people are friends with someone just because they happen to grow up in the same town and never left? <laughs> yeah, it's all of my friendships. Aww. It's just, it's amazing. It is amazing. It it's very amazing. Right. If I find out this woman's having sex with all of these animals, I'm going to be real... <laughs> I'm going to be really <laughs> mad if it turned out she put a bunch of bird seed on her clint and she let this... <laughs> manipulated this special needs pigeon into fucking giving her condolingus. Maybe she broke her, she broke Lundy's legs like Kathy Bates in Misery. She wants Lundy to write hobbled him. novel. She fucking hobbled him. I'm know. keeping puppy to myself. I don't trust a lot of these people who take in animals that can't get away from them. It is possible <laughs> something's going wrong there, but that's just my last podcast brain. That's very cute, Marcus. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Very You're... good in cleansing. Now, to fix all that, my question is, is that has there ever been a case of a woman using birds to fucking masturbate? To have a birds go and lick? Because do birds have tongues? I think the big... Yeah. yeah. Uh, they have both tongues. of you. I said exactly yes. at, the, at the same. Yes, some birds, birds, some have birds tongues. have tongues. Some birds All have birds tongues. Have tongues, Marcus. <laughs> Why would a bird have a tongue? Do birds have, have tongues? Tongue. You trust the Google over one of your most pets? birds most have birds tongues. Birds have tongues. <laughs> <laughs> what bird doesn't have a tongue? You tell me what bird doesn't have a tongue? Oh, the node tongued cardinal. Great gag reflex on it, which is honestly <laughs> really nice to see. I don't know why that's the first thing it says. Ooh. Weird. But that's the thing. They're not tongues as you would think of them, Ben, because mm -hmm. birds' tongues have bones in them. Yep. 
That is so, different. That is different. Isn't that great? It's like if Scott, if fucking skeletons suck dick. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Most birds have tongues, unlike ours. Your bird's tongue's got five bones in it. Five bones in it. Are bird's tongues wet? If the tip of the tongue, where it is usually dry, is seen to be wet, there may not be a pathological reason for this. Oh, cockatiel's tongue. Cockatoo's tongues are supposed to be dry. <laughs> <laughs> I Did don't you know. know. That a hummingbird's tongue extends around its brain. That's yes, how long. Yes, exactly. That's how it. No, it's not the hummingbird. It's the, it's the it's the it's the it's the one that bangs its nose on a bunch of stuff. I'm looking at a hummingbird right now. Yeah, well, the, what's the other one? The one that bangs its nose. Woodpecker. A woodpecker. <laughs> they also got the brain. They got the brain doing that. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I don't mess with a woodpecker. Although, if you did have a super hard clit, I guess a woodpecker. You pop that right on there. That's, that's an Adam and Eve toy right there. How hard your clit got to be, though? I don't know, buddy. It's got to be. It's got to be caveman. That's got to be OG. Women don't get that wood clit, right, or that rock clit. Maybe it softened it... over time. Oh my God! I just typed in woodpecker sex toy, and I found the wild woodpecker female rotating vibrator. It's like a rabbit. Do you know what a rabbit is? Of oh, course. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a rabbit, but where the rabbit should be, there's a woodpecker. All right, so what this called? What is it called? The wild slippery woodpecker slope. female rotating vibrator. The wild that is a slippery slope. I don't think you're allowed to. Go, <laughs> you're not allowed to go gazing at birds in the rotating park. You're masturbating using vibrator. Like I want to see this thing. All right. Wow, well, and it's a steal at only twelve dollars and ninety nine cents. Look at this. <laughs> A little fucking bird on it. Can we not see this? Y'all gotta I show can't people see this. It on the screen. Can you show send it? this Eric, to Eric? Can you show it? Can I? There's no way to set There's that no up. Way to Marcus, do let's get another video. There's well, no way to do it, Henry. You've got we don't have to see technology. this. We don't <laughs> have, have the technology. This. It has a fucking <laughs> Put big your phone old up to it. SNL. You All got right, it? Er- Eric's working on it. He's and working while on Eric's working on it. Oh, look at that fucking wall that's going right down on a clit. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think we can show that. We don't. We're not allowed to show women having fun. That's so interesting. No, I love all, I love all humankind. That I do. It's it's a dildo that's in the shape of a woodpecker. How does that have anything to do with humankind? It's fun. ingenuity. It's, it's, they saw a woodpecker and some horny ass woman. I'm gonna say a man. Maybe started <laughs> the development of it. Just yeah. being like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But imagine that yeah, fucking chick's clip was that whole fucking tree. Yeah, they, we, we <laughs> tree. What if we've, number one, okay, we train a bird to think that a woman's got worms up the side of a fucking vagina, right into the circle I'm looking for. Someone's like, wait, 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 wait. Before we start getting birds involved, <laughs> well, we make one out of fucking plastic and have that one go to town on a box. And they're oh, like, uh, you're a genius. <laughs> well, it's always nice to get married in Brooklyn. You guys want to have you ever wondered about banana prices? You know what actually happened? You know what? That's one of those that I don't really fucking look that deep into because I feel like when I'm at that point, that's like when I'm already started bringing guns to the store and I'm like, oh, my God. (laughs) Yo, we're sitting here thinking about drugs, oh, cartels, all that stuff. You want to know about bloodshed, bro? Banana mm -hmm. biz, dude. Yeah, banana, banana biz. And we are going to see that bloodshed. In graph form. <laughs> oh Wait. man, is this graph time? <laughs> look at look it's at that. the import and export value of bananas Whoa! from 1961 Whoa. to 2019. Oh no, my god! Shit. Now why are we're going up? The U.S. Our import value is going up. Our export value, it's like we're not shipping bananas fucking anywhere, dog. <laughs> no, definitely not. Also, I didn't know bananas were in Somalia. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, why but, not? The Japan's got a fuck ton of bananas. I thought that they thought like bananas were unlucky or something. But this is 1969. If you watch the banana import value, some very interesting things happen over the next 20 years. Notice how you want. I want to get France are gaining on Japan. Japan, the banana fell over by 1973. It's Whoa. going down. How yeah. much is the U.S. people? How much have we killed here? How many people have we killed? <laughs> Costa Rica's coming up big. Yeah, Costa Rica. France. Wait, I guess France. Do you think that they're using these bananas by putting them inside themselves? They might be. No one wants the American banana. That's that's an that's an indictment on all males. But we're buying all the world's bananas. Look we're at how many bananas. The bananas. And then Germany suddenly in 1980 really goes back on banana consumption. I think it's got something to do with it being yellow. 
<laughs> Look at all the bananas. I mean, I it's think like, there's yeah, something. Yeah, I know. I do. I got of... guys in the chat. There are a lot of people saying they miss the guy. I love goats. He's been saying horrible things about our penises. He's saying very <laughs> mean, very strange things. Dude, I remember looking at some porno that involved bananas right around 1987. And now you see we're over the million banana mark. Oh, we're back down. <laughs> oh, now we're back up. Now we're it back worked. up. It worked. I, I know the banana. Everyone there's was going this... banana crazy. What are these Germans trying to do? We'll beat you again. This is what I'm saying. I want to. I feel like watch them creep up and they're prepping, but I don't know why the sudden swells and drops in banana consumption at any time. It's yeah. fascinating. Culturally, right? Oh, my God. Russia is so <laughs> desperate to try to get in our banana business, and it's like, no, guys. Uh -uh. Bones on no banana bread does not have bones unless you're making it in fucking old-timey Russia and you need the protein. You need the fucking protein. You know what, though? To be fair, Ecuador has had a fairly steady banana market for quite a while. Hey, listen, also, Tribe, a guy's going to, in the chat, Chrissy Teigen has never made a thing in her life. It's all fake. Anything says she's absolutely No, that's not alive. true. Chrissy Teigen, she's uh, she's having sex with uh, with uh, John Legend. Uh, John Legend. Legend. Yeah, they're married. They have children. Yeah, so Guys, I think kids. we're losing sight of the bananas here. Look whoa, whoa, Germany, right. holy shit. And a production. Look I at that. God, Look at it. Belgium just hit number one. I'm going to say this. If Germany fucking even gets close to us in banana consumption, I And they're number one. Wow. Oh, that's Belgium. Well, see, now, no, this is ridiculous. <laughs> see, we gotta start eating more bananas. Why aren't we nuking these people? Did you know that? Look at this. I Belgium is number two in both import and export value. That My is, God. Just, why I don't like you just keep hoarding. your own bananas? Why don't you just keep your own bananas? <laughs> why you go there, there, there it is. is. There's the woodpecker dildo. dildo. <laughs> look at the that's woodpecker what dildo. Looking now, for. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. That is yeah. crazy. Yeah, you know what? yeah. Is that you really get four double A batteries in that thing? Four. Oh my god! Hey man, how is that thing gonna go? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, why, why Tam, why, why Tammy and Bruce get divorced? My God, just show will, them that they'll see why. I will say, I, I don't mind like a woodpecker theme dildo, or something like that. The stuff that really concerns me in the cam world. Is the dog dildos and the horse dildos? Mm, Those are the ones that are shaped like dog penises. What are you talking like... about? Look it up, Mark. There's dog dildos. Yeah, I'm looking it up. Oh wow, yeah. I'm looking at uh, immediately the dog dildo guide. Oh, the that's best disgusting. Dog dildos, Honestly, that should be illegal. Canine, wolf, fox, and other kinds of not dildos. That's they're known. But as. again, oh. I feel like why are they not allowed to express themselves that way? But why does it also kind of like make me all sad and my my oh. stomach all? Because it's weird. disgusting and it's a this gag. Is joke. It's a gag joke. No one, no woman. I don't know. God, there's one called the Hound. Okay, no, that's not. That's <laughs> immediate grounds for divorce. <laughs> they have to under Catholic law. You have to have your marriage annulled. Wow, the Hound is for, that's forty two dollars, but it's it's <sighs> custom made. Oh, uh, and it's got balls too. What is uh, wrong with that? No, uh, I think like there's big dog gross balls, there. or does it look like human balls? Uh, they look like human balls, but they've got plastic dog fur. That is disgusting. You <laughs> text me that. Text me that, text me that Marcus. I want to see this. Thing. I want to see this thing with the balls. That is that is so much worse than finding out that your boyfriend oh. is into like Harry Potter porn or something like that. That is so much worse than finding out they're into hentai. If I find out that my wife or girlfriend is masturbating with a dog penis, it is oh. V E R, my friend, over forever. But guys, several people are saying the same thing in, in the chat. They're saying there something about the dog dildo is really disconcerting, but a horse dildo for some reason is not as disconcerting. Well, because, because a horse penis looks closer to a human penis. To it's you. <laughs> well, <Wow. laughs> hey, I fucking mean, Polish ass. I don't know what it looks like. You know, I do think when it comes to sexually fetishizing animals, the horse is probably number one in the human mind. We think about Motor, which is now a commercial, the Manator. We think about, you know, the half horse, half man combination. Now, this is a female fantasy, not a male fantasy. I because... don't know. It sounds like I've seen that it seems, and I don't want to step out of bounds here, but a lot of what has been sold to us as a female fantasy might come from <laughs> male based think tanks. I'm going to call them. Think I don't tanks. know. I, I, think I, I don't know. Think I, I think. That maybe. Wow, there it there is. is. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's there it is. Illegal. Yeah, made by the Goblin Crew.
That well, it's a joke. They know that no one's using that. That is not. The, you know, man. man. What do you want to use tonight, using. honey? Do you want to use your rabbit? Do you want to use your big gargantuan that we that we named? You know, uh, the Larry Bird. Like, or do you want to use the dog dick? Uh, I don't think so, my friend. People, I, I mean, Who looking knows? at the reviews. Listen to this review. Excellent communication from the entire Goblin crew. Incredible craftsmanship. Great product. I would definitely buy from here again. Mm. How do they know what the dog dick looks like? <laughs> well, they got it, man. They just started fucking rocking on it, man. I, I, you know, and again, I guess that that's what you're going to... But you I don't know how, how they make dildo. Like, James Dean has a dildo out with his cock. He had to put it in a yeah, bunch of... Cock. Yeah, but he had I don't to put think it in a they're... bunch of things. I tell you they what. Had to get a, they had to get a dog hard and jam it into a plaster-making machine. I will say, honestly, if it's that difficult to get my to get Wendy to clip her nails, I think it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get. Imagine, first of all. Are there dog get... pussies then? Mm, sedative. Use the sedative on the dog. But how do you no, get it that hard? Way, that way the dog doesn't know what happened. But the Red Wendy Rocky doesn't come girl. out of his heart. <laughs> Henry, Wendy is a girl. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Have you trying to wed Rocket Wendy? And no, you know I, it has, I. You know that it's a girl, right? I am just saying, if for any dog, they get it to stand still long enough for it to put its erect penis in the stuff. I think they're hand they're carving these things. They're You've not making. <laughs> are there are there female are there dog vaginas then for the man? They are, do they do that? Do because I have is, to look this up? You have to because I, you've done this. I don't think they do. Okay, do I dog. Put it on incognito mode. Is FBI that can only see everything. They're all allowed right. to. Dog, 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 our, all of our civil liberties are gone. So fake just dog throw it out there in public. China sex toy. Oh man. Yep, they got them. I am not right, even. We'll send, oh no, it's called send Tracy's that to Eric. dog. Uh, Tracy's dog. Oh god, I, this, I just found, found the grossest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Send it oh. to Eric. Send it to Send Eric. It to Eric. Let's gonna, watch it. Oh. I'm not gonna watch it. And then let's move on, and then have that have that be the the, the exclamation point on it. Great, My you God. put your producer's hat on, Henry, and I really love that. It is actually uh, <laughs> that that made me gag. I'm sending it to Eric right now, and Eric can <laughs> Eric Eric can actually he can make the call on whether this is appropriate to show or it's, not. It's, it's appropriate, Eric. Fucking, it's totally appropriate. It's the grossest thing I've ever seen in my life. I can't yeah. wait. Uh, well, it's, now we'll be surprised whenever it pops up. I mean, I'm yeah, glad that I'll, I'll get to just, just make it up in my mind. Let's just say it's called the two-hole canine sex toy. Um, <laughs> Puffin earmuffs. So. Uh, oh no, he'll love it. No, Puffin. He's, this is the only one that this. He's the only one that this is appropriate for. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, yeah. If we're if we're splitting hairs here. Oh my God! I'm wearing my Frenchie in the News shirt. By the way, Frenchie yeah. in the News, amazing Instagram follow. They have great merch. Yeah. If you want to support them. Yeah. Well, let's go to the next video. Let's see something wholesome. This is called Oh, Pissing on Fucking Fire Ants. Okay. This isn't wholesome. <laughs> this is not as wholesome. <laughs> no. No. I always kind of get choked up on the pressure. But, uh, there we go. I don't know, I buddy. I you to take this at indecent. No, it's exactly as advertised. Oh. He has been drinking a lot of Bud Light. You can that tell how clear it is. <laughs> yeah, you know that. I know that, Pete. That is I miss that, Pete, man. That Boy, is, that, like... is, okay, that is a 5 p.m. Saturday afternoon pee right yes, there. That Nothing is... but fucking just rice up, water. Okay. Just me with my, my fucking Bud pissed. Lights. I know that. <laughs> I've seen that stream many times. You know that's as clear as an angel's tears. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's in there. <laughs> Shake it uh, once and do yeah. a dance, but you're still gonna get some drops in your pants. Ugh. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Words. This Hello, is the this whole guy. video, Marcus. Yeah, this is the video. Yeah. No, there's the close up. Hey, bear, I don't, think the, I don't even think the fucking, ants really care about that. Piss on you, fire ants. That's yeah. I hope that you he just started a war. <laughs> I'm gonna say he just started a thing that he's gonna be very afraid to start. Yes. He, they, once they once they get their revenge going. Once Did you ever it out? watch, there's a great, uh, I forget what channel it was on, like Travel or something, where it was like, I almost died. And there mm -hmm. was one where it was a, a chick, she fell asleep, in a, no, it was a dude, fell asleep in a bunch of fire ants. And then they were going into his eyeballs and his ears. No, he did die. <laughs> uh, it was his friend who found him later. They, and they straight up skinned him, man. He was nothing but bone. It was like 20 hours. Mm -hmm. Fire ants will mess you up. Beetles. Those are the best bugs. There's a flesh-eating beetle that'll just remove all the flesh. Quick as anything. So I mean, scary. we do know Kuklinski did use bats, right? 
Well, he used rats. 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 Oh, that, that's definitely he real. He said he used rats. That's that definitely was his real. claim, that he had a oh. rat cave where he would take guys and yep. have the rats eat all the flesh up. I had a rat. I completely believe that's possible. Those are violent animals. <laughs> violent. Why'd you have a rat? Oh my God! Not as a pet. The rat, no, the, 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 the rat the that rat... left in your house. Yeah, yeah. It was like <laughs> two months, man. Brooke was really upset with me for not being a man and getting rid of it, and I was like, "I'm on the road," you know. And then that was fun, and then um, it just never left. And then it was starting to jump up on the bed. It got real bad. I didn't have any way to do it, deal with it. I didn't have a Red Rider BB gun. Well, you just and I kept on trying to. I, kept... I got traps, but then it would just eat the peanut butter and leave. I don't know, man. Rats are very smart. It ate through a yeah. lot of my shirts. Watch a, a documentary. Rat. There's a documentary called Rats. That is yeah, wild, a, dude. I lived it. Yeah. I don't need it. Yeah, I'm good. Ben didn't have – you didn't have mice. You had a rat. No, I had yeah, one I thought mice. that he Pudgy. said – Pudgy was chill. Yeah, you know what but this is? was a rat. Hot this was chicks a rat. have two things in common. I've never met a man with a rat for a pet, like a actual pet. It's always hot chicks. They always have rat. They are, it's always like a weird hot chick who has like a rat as a pet. I've seen that quite often. Other big thing I've seen in, in L.A. that I think is very interesting. The only people who don't wear masks on the street are hot chicks. I think that they straight <laughs> up just course. believe that fucking they're like, it's not going to get me. You know, like, it's like, why well, would he get I've, me? Well, I thought about getting a rat. I thought about getting a rat for a long time, but then I found oh. out they only live for two years. And, and I didn't want to get the heartbreak. They're vicious, man. I mean, they're very yeah, smart. They can be very sweet. I guess so. The vet, the one that I had was a subway rat, so he was OG. Yeah, you didn't have a. Stop saying you had a rat. <laughs> I had a rat. In my apartment. You had a rat. Yes, you and had a rat. Puffin would just yeah. look at it, and I would be like, "You got to kill the rat." But the Puffin's not going to do that. Nah, Jack, you had a rat my, guy in Foster. That was horrible. Yeah. Oh, sure. a lot of people say a lot of the same gays have rats, and, and DJ Maniac was gone probably said a lot of punk rock dudes have rats. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, the ones that I knew were always some like it was always like an alt hot girl. Yeah, yeah, of course. You guys, you guys want to hear? Oh that's my God, it. that's uh, it! Uh, <laughs> get it off the screen! Get it off the screen! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> 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 uh, I told you it's the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> they should be in the mail. Oh, oh man, I don't even care. Break, you know me. Dude. I'm like, let most people. Out. I, I literally need, need a. Jail. I need a break. <laughs> that man. Uh, why'd they do it like that? Why'd they make that like that? Oh, good Lord. Why would they think we need the... You should go to the uh, the website. Oh, how many reviews? It... Are there any reviews on the that? Webs the website... Uh... Oh, I just looked at oh, it again. Oh, uh... get that fucking out of here, man. Holy <laughs> shit. If you go to the Etsy site, because it's an Etsy product. It's Etsy. Oh, it's Etsy. It's Etsy? It's Etsy. Etsy? It's Etsy. Is yeah, grandma you... making this? It's got a handle on it. It's got a handle on it so you can, you know... Do what, what you need. Reviews, Marcus, oh, what? Fucking yeah. just like. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see here. Fantastic toy. In fact, the best I've ever seen on this topic. Ooh, the material feels great, and the size is perfect, in my opinion. I'd also asked for an off color that wasn't on the grid, and I got Ooh. exactly what I asked for. They're so. These are so amazing. I may buy another one soon. Who signed it? Was that like Steven? <laughs> Who signed it? Was that a man? Signing Who's... it. That's Caesar. It's gotta be a name? dude. Got... I mean, it's a pussy in a butthole. What are they gonna do if you're a chick? I guess you rub it on you. But uh, yeah. is yeah, it like dude. one of those where it's like, uh, is it the guy from Steve who does Bannon? Fucking... Yeah, Steve Bannon do that? Is that a dog whisperer. Uh, uh, it's someone named uh, Volpe who's absolutely a uh, furry. Definitely a furry going on yeah, here. I don't oh, that's mind. not good for the furry community, though. They've been fighting very hard that they're not animal. They, um, I think I can say fuckers. They're not. They don't have sex with animals. That, that's the, the furry idea. community uh, is stigmatized. Uh, okay. This one's from Baffy. And these are recent reviews, too. This one's yeah, from... Because the, fee, this the one's furry from industry, the furry industry is trying to say stop fucking these things, right? The <laughs> idea is that they're trying to say don't do this. Trying to. This, uh, this review is from March 2nd. So know that this is very recent history. Is this a review. quarantine review? This is a quarantine review. Oh, Great what was toy. your quarantine? What were you up to? Well, I was fucking this dog pussy I got. That's <laughs> my best yeah. friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I think we should socially distance, like, forever. <laughs> Here's the review. Great toy. The entrance is nice and puffy, and the tunnel has an interesting bend to it that makes each position feel different. Best design so far. So that means he's had a lot in the in the. 
Best Five design stars. so far best, is really the, the design, most triggering Best design part. so far <laughs> makes me, I, I'm rooting for COVID. <laughs> I'm, I'm rooting for it. again. I want it to just make its uh, way through this species. I want it to just go. I want Okay, do you want to hear what a four-star review sounds like? Because all the others oh, are five-star. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> my I God. See, oh, oh, I would actually see. love to hear the customer complaint of the dog and asshole combo. <laughs> the asshole combo. All right, here's four-star. I was intrigued with this one. I had mine designed after a famous character, but I'll admit, as good as it looks and feels, the downside is that it is on the looser side. I've bought Cheval, and it was extremely tight, so this one takes the other opposite extreme. Also, I'm not sure about the material, but the escape hole on the butt side seems to have torn a little, seems to have torn a little <laughs> after the first time use. The plugs it came with gave it a lot of suction. So for the creators, my critique would be to reinforce the material so it's slightly more durable. Great suction when it's plugged, but the lube retention could do a little work. Send them a gun. You have to send, send them a gun. gun and just wait, because they will kill themselves. Call the police on these people. Oh. Just call the police. He's destroying the assholes. He's destroying them. He's fucking them till they tear. What was he doing to real dogs? I swear to God. To real animals. It and really, he's ripping the assholes of the fake ones. It is toy box killer written all over it. This is like this. The FBI, if the... They are spying on everyone. Just you can hone in on this community. Although then, well, no, I can't. Man, this is one of those where you really got to put on your anthropological cap and uh, <laughs> and it's say, "Well, legit. we have a constitution." Um, I know. Again, yeah, it's our, plastic, our, I guess. But what was the first black man to be shot in the revolution? I don't know. Remember his name? I don't know what your queen's Indian. education taught you. Saying, that like the, first shot, the shot heard around the world. I'm talking about in the colonial days. Was it Crispus Marcus, Attic? Crispus, Crispus Attic. Attic. Crispus Attic, yeah. He died so that a man can complain <laughs> on Etsy that hard. the asshole of his dog fucking toy wasn't strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that wow. is scary, dude. A lot of people are upset. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is a person you just walk by that person. Anytime that you feel down, you have self Oh, yeah. No, people are trying to fight this. There are people fighting me. It's got nothing to do with real dogs. It's just a dog. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what to them. tell you. Flag them. I don't know flag what to I say, if you think it's got nothing They're to do with folder. real dogs, I want to say that in a job interview. <laughs> say, <laughs> go ahead. Say it in a job interview. I want I just see you. Just hey, wait, see what you are the names action. of any defenders out there? I don't want to dox anyone. Oh, my good Lord. Well, There's a lot wanna... of people saying the reason why the toys exist is that people will fuck the animals in real life. But that's what yeah. I was saying about the, the robot children for pedophiles, and everyone calls me a monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, it's a slippery old slope there. It, I though. think it could also lead to you having sex with animals. It definitely does. All right. Well, anything <laughs> else, Marcus, or are we going to end yeah. this one 30 no, minutes no. early? No, let's, uh, let's hear a positive message. This is a true, it's actually, a, it's a positive message. Uh, wait, wait, wait till the end. It, 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 it ends very positively. <laughs> it's not going to be awful. Now about damn it. How about Timmy, Timmy? Hmm? Tough time never lasts. That's true. Only tough people last. <laughs> I like the end. I thought that was great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Positive message. Very yeah, positive. I love people. I miss the, you know, it's like say like, I forgot what I was watching footage of. I want to say it was during the Heaven's Gate episodes. Maybe this is a bad example. But <laughs> the old days, when you guys have the old video cameras and the old videos where everyone, when someone, would you take the video of them, like, with the old cameras, they'd be, like, waving and super excited, like, excited about the camera. Yeah. I kind of miss that 
vibe when people are like, oh, it's a camera. A camera. And now you just see, now all I, when I see that camera, all I see is Leonard Lake filming a bound woman. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> back then it was like fun. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I remember the camera. It was a, it was a big thrill when your when your family got the camera and you were a kid and you were on camera. We it's, had one. It's pretty big deal. Yeah, we had that big old one, a fucking thirty pounder one. And then I remember I uh, caught my uh, my sister on tape breaking my mom's favorite perfume because I used to do Robin Leach as a little boy. That was like my favorite character. Like, Homes of the rich and famous. So I used to do yeah. that as a little kid. And I was yeah. taking my my sister around because I used to like run the camera and also do the endless monologue and then jackie was going through my mom's secret stuff like we went in the room we weren't supposed to be in there and she took up my mom's big like expensive bottle of like 1985 perfume that she well, got you know, all the fanciest perfumes that are only the best come in a gallon bottle. come in a gallon <laughs> and, you get it. and she just dropped it on camera and just fucking exploded Oh. I, I found my mother's uh, my, my my mom's uh, chicken cutlets there that she would put in the old bra. I play with those quite extensively, mm-hmm. uh, and my mom never told me that she was uncomfortable with it. So it was very. Nice I found a her. loaded gun. Yeah. Uh, all right, Marcus. Any other video? <laughs> any other video? <laughs> I'm happy. The gun has to be loaded for home protection. That's great. But you didn't shoot anyone with it. Did you, no, did you no, 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 no. I just, I just. Uh, <laughs> Lightly played with a loaded 357 Magnum. <laughs> yeah. I you played with it lightly. Real it's big. Too heavy. You know what? You don't need to put a safety on that. The trigger's too fucking strong for a kid to pull it. No, but that's the great thing is that I was taught how to use guns from a young age, so I knew how to take this. I knew how to turn the safety off to make it yeah. more fun. Yeah, that's... no one has fun with the safety on. That's the yeah. whole point. Come on, man. <laughs> My goodness gracious. <laughs> you imagine that if we got to see mass shooter bloopers, just be like... Fuck you, motherfucker! <laughs> his pants falling down. He's got all the bullets and all the stuff coming in, and his pants fall down. He's like, oh, my hands are full of guns. That will be a TMZ show soon. Well, you know who we haven't checked in on a while? We haven't checked in on the Mormons. Oh. I haven't. I honestly try to avoid them. Yeah, well, dude. You know what though? Last Dance. If you haven't seen it, you have to finish it. Utah Jazz fans, worst fans in the NBA. You know what they did, Marcus? What? They poisoned Michael, your middle name. This is Jordan. this they is propaganda. This is no, that is not propaganda. <laughs> no, honestly, Henry, not, honestly, that is not propaganda. It is 100% real. He had food poisoning. You don't get the flu for 18 hours after you eat a Utah pizza delivered by five dudes. They put their nuts on it. They shat on whatever. Think they, it was. They, you think they put a fucking lump of dick yes, on there? Because LeBron said he was poisoned in Utah. Um, CP3 said he was poisoned in Utah. Utah, as we saw, guys, don't pretend like we didn't see. They get drunk and they get angry because they don't get they drunk don't. to have fun like they do in Wisconsin because they're guilty about it. They get angry. I don't know, man. I got, I, don't know, I got food poisoning in Milwaukee. I got food poisoning from a Milwaukee meatloaf. Yeah, that's because you ate a Milwaukee meatloaf. Yeah, Milwaukee. <laughs> yeah, buddy, that's just called a dumbass trap. You yeah. happen to be a dumbass. It was Comet Diner. It was very. It was. It was a guy. Oh, it was a guy. guy no, place. no, Comet it, Diner is notoriously it's horrible. It's Comet fallen. Diner's never been good. I mm. should have told you that inside information. Guy Fieri. The only thing I could criticize him on is sometimes he's too nice to restaurants that aren't out of bounds. But mm. you can <laughs> tell, like this guy <laughs> is. I in learned, bounds? and I'm true. And truth be told, I learned this from Pop History from page seven. You can tell the ones he actually likes as if he takes a second bite. Oh, he takes a second bite, and he likes it. If he takes a third bite, you take him already to Flavor Town. Oh, my God. Oh, once you go to Flavor, he does have tells. But no, Marcus, I'm sorry. I should have told you that. Comet Diner is notoriously bad. It's run by hipsters. Quite all right. Some hipsters are good at food. My boy Kevin Gillespie. Some are. Speaking of food, though. This video does have quite a bit to do with food. In fact, one food in particular. This is from the rededication of a temple in Idaho. It is about, I think they said it's 20,000 Mormons all together, and about 2,000 of them are youths singing the potato song. Okay. As the methods of irrigation were mastered, wheat, hay, (laughs) barley, and beets also began to flourish. About one-third of all the potatoes grown in the United States come from this area. I would have Many a blast Idahoans here. Many Idahoans have grown up 
working in the spud fields each year. Of course, you can't have it too loud. <laughs> oh my Look God. Look at him. Look at him. Holy hell. This is like two years ago. That's a lot of potatoes. Oh my God, look at all of these. Really? You wouldn't even know that they had belly buttons, man. You wouldn't see that. <laughs> Just start raining acid, like the hallucinogen. Out of it. <laughs> fucking, just hit him with the hose, please. Yeah, this song. Potatoes forever and always. Potatoes forever oh, and always. They have the potato sacks. Yeah. Twenty thousand. That would be heaven. If you were a Mormon, this is this is what it would look like if you showed up. I'll take the rejection on that one. The green, Mormons dancing. Green looking people. Yeah, what are the green? <laughs> yeah, are they just, what are they there for? Those are the Mormons Joseph's... who can actually dance. Because remember from our Mormon series, the Mormons pride themselves on being fantastically good dancers. Yeah, they especially dance. Oh, this type of dancing. <laughs> those are all the Mormons that can't dance. Yeah, those are the hobbled ones. <laughs> okay, but they can throw the potato sack up there. Yep, they can. So they're having fun. So this is them having this fun. This is their version of fun, yeah. Yep. yep. Is this a mating thing going on here to the left? Well, is that they have, I mean, they've already been pre-chosen about, like, you know, they're going to get handed to whoever husband they get chosen. Well, if he has a lot of potatoes, that would be a, that'd be a lucky gal. Man, I wish you could get the fucking. You remember the Harlem Shake? Yeah, I remember, remember the Harlem Shake. This would be a fun group to do that with. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly I mean, honestly, as wholesome as you can get. They're horrible yeah. dancers. No, but this is no, <laughs> no. I don't think that this is wholesome. This is straight up like Wicker Man. This is like straight up like <laughs> ready for the purge. They got like a senator in the back about to get shot in the head because they signed the sixty four. Civil Rights Act. This is very <laughs> dangerous. This is a very dangerous gathering of the whites. It's just the beginning of COVID-19. <laughs> From the YouTube comments, apparently, uh, they're all they're some very mean boys and girls in that group. Yes, they're very mean. What do you I'm mean that they're they, very cut, mean. they tried to kill MJ. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. They're just. Singing about potatoes. Oh, for, that video is about life. five and a half minutes long. I have Shit, never dude. been aggressively accosted more than in Salt Lake City. And I actually say that as a compliment to the people. They're not weak. Um, I mean, they're hardy people and they're very, very intense. But we got some good friends out there. I love them. We were in Salt Lake City. I'd move out Shane there. Shane are free. We got good friends out there. That I, I love our uh, SLC yeah. crew. It's just definitely, it's an interesting, weird town. Now, one night I was stuck there. My flight got canceled and I was stuck there all night. And I got drunk by myself. And it was nice. But they're definitely very, like, it's weird. They're, what we were talking about, their relationship with booze is very fraught. They think that you're supposed to be super aggressive when you're drunk, but they don't realize, like, this is why I'm not aggressive. I'm not sure if the people we had any dealings with were Mormons, though. No, never once. No, they're all people oh that my were God, no. Mormons, and then became like strippers and everything else. Anything else? <laughs> no, no, those were the those were our friends. Those are our no, friends. That's what I'm saying. My I, friends. As a big guy, I was getting I was getting the old what too. Yeah, you oh you definitely God. did. Get that, well, that was though. That was weird. That, that was a year that, for some reason, Americans were very aggressive towards you and your size. Everywhere we they went, there was do. always... They always are. I don't know why they want to try to fucking do shit at you. I don't know why they want to test you. I don't know, buddy. I'll take them all down. But the nice thing is, all you got to do, psychological warfare, they'll cry. I've made a lot of people cry. I made a felon out here at Carmine's cry. Um, because he can't go back to Florida, and I knew he couldn't go back to Florida, and I found a roundabout way to get him to confess to his crimes, and then he openly cried and said he couldn't talk about it anymore. <laughs> Giovanni! His name is Giovanni. I think he's not allowed at Carmine's anymore. What did he do? 
Oh, it was. I don't know if we need to get into that. Yeah, we don't have that. You can't go. If you can't go back to Florida, you done something wrong. Unless you're Alice Cooper and you did something fun, like you pissed on the phone. No, is that now? That's Ozzy. That's Ozzy Osbourne in Texas. Yeah. And hey, they, since, the since, they have since rescinded his uh, ban on San Antonio. He can go back to San Antonio now. Well, what a coincidence. Sounds like he's about to fucking die. No, he's not about to die. Why say that? He's elderly. He's just, uh, you know, I imagine, elderly. I think he's going to live for another, I, I can think of all of them, he's going to live for another 15 years. I, I the think other so. one, Like, we'll lose. You see that, um, what's his name? Scott uh, fucking Ian? Maid. Yeah, the, the lead singer of Iron Maiden. His estranged wife died. I know he had a estranged wife, but he had some other chick on the side too, man. It's a whole, whole life, man. <laughs> that's, a little, that's a little piece of information there, Eddie. That's definitely <laughs> my brain is shutting down. Yeah. <laughs> well, to, I'll wake it back up again. I'll wake it back up with this video about this man's belly. Let's hear all about this man's belly. Yay. Aww. Hi, it's Fred. Mm -hmm. I, I have a big belly. I, I want to show you. It's not that big. No, it's not mm -hmm. that big. Fuck you, man. I, 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 I used to have a, 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 a flat belly, and I don't have that anymore. I have, I nope. have, um, I have. This is the guy who left the review on the dog pussy. And so, um, because that's what I have, <laughs> that's what I have. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's Fred. not a big belly. I actually, I actually don't like that because if you don't have a big belly, what well, he's just lying, man. <laughs> That's Fred, and that's his belly. Hi, oh hey, I got a fish. Hi, I guess I'll have. Yeah, I got a big belly. Huh? I, I, big belly. I have one. Right, I've got to work on it. I got to trim the. Uh, talk about flatten the curve. I got to flatten this one here. I'm working on it. My belly is very big. Can you see? It's still not that big, actually, Henry. Your belly isn't big enough to do one of these commercials anymore. But you can do the difference. Of before, after, before, after. You know what I mean? You do the same thing. But as I get, I got belly. I ate two, two pounds of cream cheese this weekend, and I am reeling. Uh, but, uh, cream cheese straight or cream cheese with something? With bagels. I okay. have four bagels. That uh, makes it worse. No, I know it makes it worse. I don't know what <laughs> yeah. What were you using? Were you just eating? Just dipping. Uh, just dipping. dipping. What were you dipping? Bagels into the cream cheese. Oh, at least you had bagels. I thought and you I had were, a full I... pound in one sitting, and then I had about a half a pound, and then I had another half a pound, and it was all within 18 hours. It was too much. And uh, No, it was way too much. I don't even know. I felt like, I don't know what happened. Were the bagels uh, toasted or just? You've been no. through this before. You went through this period. <laughs> I remember when you went through a, full, a, che a cheese. I remember you went through a cream cheese and bagel period. I remember that time period. I also remember the time when you used to get big loaves of bread, and then you showed me about not having an organized sandwich, but you just get the lunch meat and you'd break off the thing and you mash it all together and put things. That actually, who I found out, because we hadn't traveled at all, surprisingly European. Yes, it is. But, it, <laughs> but you did not know that. Yes, you I did. Know that. I, had I traveled all of Europe as a child. I was in Italy. I was there. <laughs> no, I mean, honestly, in oh, there's nothing better than an Italian breakfast, man. They got the sofacetta. They got the cheese, that, the meat. Ooh, that pan yeah. rustico. I think about that every uh, once in a while where it was this. It was just in. Because in Italy, they care about their people. So they had, like, in a hotel. The they had breakfast. Fascist is good. Great. They're doing great. <laughs> Cut it open, <laughs> and the bread had a spiral of ham in it. <laughs> that was one of yeah. the best things I've ever had, man. We're never going back. Just give me full English. Give me a big pile of beans. I had that uh, with you, and then I fucking had fucking throw up out of my asshole for two days. I don't uh, know how you like the full system, English, Marcus. Oh, my digestive system was never as solid as it was when I was back in merry old England, back in the homeland, my homeland. I don't even know why you took an ancestry test. You should have just had that for breakfast one day, not gotten sick, and assumed that you were indeed British. Uh, I think it's how your skin, if you are not in the sun every day, becomes gray. That is, yeah. that is how you know. I know you are truly Anglo-Saxon. Where my yeah. base is pink. Yeah. Even no. at my base, I'm pink. And I've got something to do with your Eastern European. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I haven't taken it. You know what? I haven't taken any of the uh, ancestry tests because I don't. My parents did, so I guess uh, the cat's out of the bag. If I do have a rel, uh, an uncle, I don't think I have one. But that, let's say he's the murderer. Let's say he's the Golden State Killer. 
I can't be ratting them out like that. <laughs> I get it. No, that's what they do. They rat. They rat. <laughs> all but my folks did it, so I guess we're we're fine. It's yeah, too late. You're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're we're fine. All in the mean, database. We already know that your your grandfather was a war criminal, but they burn all the documents. He wasn't a war <laughs> criminal. He was not a war criminal. <laughs> he was a war profiteer. But no, when he, he was a <laughs> union leader. <laughs> he was. We'll have this Never conversation understood. forever. All right, you'll always will. You want a belly? Do you guys want a belly? You want a belly? I want to see a belly if the guy's you want a belly? He has a belly, yeah. Let's see a belly. Let's go to pig step. Okay. This I'm getting belly. strong vibes of this is a dude I knew in high school. <laughs> like, literally, this is one of my friends. <laughs> see, this guy is cool. Yeah, this guy's cool as shit. His uh, channel is it. I gotta look it up. It's Adventure or something HQ. This guy could pull it off. He's got a good size. He's got a lot. Of, he's probably about 320. Whoa! Yeah. I see he threw the music in the box, and now the box is playing the music. Adventure Gaming HQ. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just, just wait till he goes to hardcore mode. Oh, he's I'm fucking there. loving this guy. <laughs> Man, look at that butter, dude. Throwing that butter at them damn robots, dude. Okay, reject, reject, reject the chem bag. Dances alone because he don't need nobody. Hardcore mode. What? Yeah, my boy. I actually <laughs> put a small taste for a man of that size. He's one of those. I've got. I got it all in my titties. You know what I mean? I got all full titties. Some people don't. Yep. As big guys, this is a pretty good big guy body right here. Yep. He's hippie. He's probably a good offensive lineman. Defensive well, he's got lineman. Big, yeah, he's got big butt. Yeah, he's got a big yeah. Oh, yes, oh, he does. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Shakira, Shakira. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at that. He's got the moves. Hey, good People for him, man. He's going to make it. Whatever he wants to do in this life, he's going to make it. He's going to make it, dude. Look at that, all in his parents' living room. Ooh. You can do art anywhere. But I now. feel like there's so cool about it. There's big butt, like big guys, and I got little butt, but I'm busty. Well, that's why you were so good at being a goalie. You're a great goalie. You got a goalie body. I was because I filled the net. Yeah, and you could do the splits. You can do splits because you don't have those big old hips to deal with. That guy is an offensive lineman, defensive lineman. He's a good size. I, I definitely have a basketball player's body. I would say he would be an uh, he's an offensive lineman. I think he'd be better at keeping people away than going after somebody. Yeah, hey, it's it's hard. It's hard to be a big guy in sports because they only got a short period of time. How long those offensive linemen last? <laughs> they can have pretty long careers. No man, <laughs> two three two three years, couple months. No, they're not horses. No, they can have a good fifteen ten year career. They don't fucking just shoot them in the head when they're done with them. No, they do that, but after a long career, or they shoot themselves, as we saw R.I.P. I, I say let the boys play. Mm -hmm. Let the boys play football. Yeah. What do you mean let them play football? They're forced to play football. As a matter of fact, that man probably hates football. The reason that we have a certain friend who can't even watch football with me anymore. I just think he injury triggered. every year but in that high was because, that was So I was just like, I'm him. good. I think <laughs> father used to beat him and train him. That's why he has PTSD about football now. The only thing I liked was wrestling, and that was the only sport that I played. Other than that. I, football, I hate the pads. I don't care. Pads we, went hurt. To, we went to we went to state my senior year, but wasn't very good. I was good. I was I was vaguely good at hockey. But difficult at hockey, yeah. I was pretty good at football. Yeah. It was yep, all yep. district. I wonder why we were not pros. I don't know. Also, Marcus is <laughs> all district. It was six man football. Hey, dude, it's, six man football it's is very rough. hard. It's I agree with you. Very difficult. I agree. But what was the district? How big was the district? I mean, the same as uh, any other, like, what, six teams or something like that? 
Texas is yeah, tough. You, I'll give that to you. Texas yeah, it's is Texas. Tough. It's Texas six all man right, football. All right, all right. Stop. <laughs> well, you should talk to him because Wisconsin's the same thing. You both come from big people place. I come from Wisconsin's New York. Good which is all about the, it's all about the mind. No, it's not. It's all about oh, it fell off the truck. <laughs> it is by definition. It's, about, not it's all going about the like mind. this. It's knowing when to go yeah. like this at all times. Knowing when to keep a secret. Mind your own fucking business. Right. It's very difficult. Mm -hmm. Very difficult. All right. well, let's see a little art piece. Okay. okay. But it's fun. From a distance, this orchard looks healthy and productive. But up close, you can see that North Carolina's marshmallow crops are in trouble. <laughs> the problem <laughs> what? is water. Too much of it. They have a critical range of moisture, and you get above it, they get laden with it, and then you get early drop. You know, these are, are fruit bearing trees here, and marshmallows are. Tree See, this would have tricked me as a kid. I would have gone to school, and I, I would have said, that, oh, I want to be a marshmallow farmer. You can't harvest them. But how's that really affected them? Well, They're the setting me up to get made fun of. I can already see them. Yoke. <laughs> the marshmallows to market. He knows that growing the this is very is a cute. gamble. A yeah. lost bet that may have cost him his farm. <laughs> marshmallows are a difficult crop. There's, there's, there's really no doubt about that. We. We planted 275 acres and trees. But he is like selling the stress. Years, so <laughs> He's cool very good. Planted before you're going to get your first kind of a harvest out of it at all. So you got to figure eight or nine years before you start to make any money back from it at all. Yeah. And we were hoping to make about three and a half million dollars if we could run this orchard at full capacity. But the way it looks now, uh, I'm not even going to be able to keep up the loan on the tractor. <laughs> the situation has this guy is selling it. Worry. And despite the best efforts in research by agricultural experts like Willie Kidd, this year's crop statewide is all but lost. Oh. It's better, but it tastes terrible. You got to take a bite out of it. You're bitter. Yeah. Oh. But the economic news from the crop's failure oh, no. is even more bitter. Ben's not alone. This is going to be a $40 million loss statewide. Uh, what? All the marshmallow producers are in trouble this year. The government might can come through with some low interest loans or some uh, some form of. Stuff. I would have showed up to school on Monday in a panic. <laughs> I would have been in a panic. Proud people, and they won't attempt to market a product that has been tainted by the elements. Well, the problem mostly is quality. Rain is bad Look for the them. Little ones here, they're stunted by all the rain. They're never going to sell. Too much <laughs> moisture. But you, you, they got mellow mold on them. They're well, then you want to have you want to do that indoors then. <laughs> <laughs> bitter. They're not going to sell. <laughs> I guess most of us haven't thought Just about standing North Carolina's in the back. troubled marshmallow industry lately. I know that I haven't. To most of us, a marshmallow is nothing more than just a luxury item. But to growers like Ben Yoakum, they're much, much more than that. They're a way of life. <laughs> that is straight up Texas comedic genius. That is that very funny. It, it, I tell you, growing up in an agricultural area, every third news story was exactly like that, but with cotton or peanuts. I love it. Of course, cotton and peanuts, they don't grow on trees like marshmallows. Wow. <laughs> no, they grow on plants. It's yeah. very difficult to be a farmer, apparently, and that's the only thing. That you, I imagine cotton's big news. You're part of the world. They got to fucking know about the cotton and the beans. Cotton and peanuts. Yeah. That's, that's uh, where it is. Uh, that's what cotton and I mean, peanuts is in the big country. Come I'm on down some, to the big country. Where we do cotton, to, we do peanuts, and we do cattle. I'm getting something across the newswire. Stick around for quarantine Valentine. Awkward, <laughs> li awkward live dating right now on adultswim.com or the free Adult Swim app. Isn't that something? And then, and remember to watch our live stream uh, for free 24-7 marathons on adultswim.com. Or the Adult Swim app. Download it now. 100% organic. In no way did I read that. And you know what's fun <laughs> is that we've been doing this show for almost three years. Yeah. And they're starting to give us plugs now and doing all the things and treat it like a real television show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, we're bad at it. <laughs> stick around for Quarantine Valentine. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, stick around or... Uh, commit suicide or something. I don't know what you're going to do. Don't commit suicide. <laughs> All right, everyone. Do you want to go out? Do you want to go out with something? Marcus? Hey, if we could just uh, if we're if it's time to go, I'm it's getting, time I'm to go. I'm getting this over here. I'm getting. All right, then let's go. go. Let's go. get let's out, out of here. Or else you gotta stay all night. Let's end That's on all? the Titanic video. End on the pregnant video. Is that yeah, end on the end Titanic. on that dog okay. push. Well, I want. Okay. I don't know. All right. 
Are we frozen? No. No. Just you and your own mind. All right, let's do the Titanic. Oh, no, I think we, we lost Marcus. No. Yeah. No, now we're frozen. No, I think I'm we ended. I'm not frozen. Oh, no, are we, did we end? Let's see. I'm looking at this, the stream. The stream has window frozen. Window has frozen. I believe that we are frozen. We might be still broadcasting right now. Oh.